Hello everyone, it's Mike from Downtown Comics, and my voice is a little weird because I'm nursing a cold, so apologies in advance. We are going to go over all the new graphic novels releasing this week, the week of Thanksgiving, November 22nd. So let's get started. All right, it's a fun holiday week. All right, we have a new original graphic novel called The Little Rock Files. Indigo Children, the miniseries, volume one, gets reprinted as a soft cover. The Creed, the tie-in to the Creed Universe miniseries, gets reprinted. Uh, we have a new uh, one of those cool Jeffrey Brown little uh, Star Wars father and son type books, and this one is Mandalorian and Child, so that should be a fun addition to that. Uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn, so this is the complete slipcase, has both miniseries in one nice slipcase. Wow. Uh, so if you're a fan of the video game world and want to see more stories set in that uh, thing, it's a great it's a great gift idea or a great purchase. All right, Monstrous has a new volume out, volume eight. All right, this is kind of cool. So we got a classic Blacklight note card set. So you get 24 oversized cards and envelopes all done in that 70s Blacklight style. So that's kind of fun if you're looking to send out some uh, holiday wishes or whatever. It's a good little package. Uh, the Manifest Destiny gets a nice big hardcover, so this is going to get you, uh, let's see, the first 24 issues. So you get 1 through 24. That's about half. Yeah, I think that's about half. I think it went into the 50s. Not sure. I'm not even sure if it ever ends. It just keeps going. Um, all right, so the IDW Library Edition is back with Dungeons and Dragons, so I believe they're going to be reprinting all the IDW stuff, starting with The Legend of Driz, Neverwinter Tales, and Cutter. So you get both of those miniseries back in print in a new volume. All right, uh, something called The Last Contract. This is another OGN, and it looks like a crime thriller there. Probably gangsters. All right, this may look like a new Stephen King novel, but it's actually a reprint of some of the graphic novels from the Dark Tower series that Marvel did. So the drawing of the three. So it looks like a novel, but it's actually a graphic novel. And it reprints the miniseries The Prisoner, House of Cards, Lady of Shadows, and Bitter Medicine. So you get all of those miniseries reprinted into one book. It looks like a cool hardcover novel. It's fun. Uh, the Afro Samurai manga now has a complete volume. You get both in a slipcase. Again, perfect for gift giving. We have another Sherlock Holmes uh, graphic novel. This one, however, is an illustrated novel, not a, a graphic novel. So it's the novelization with uh, pretty pictures. So. Kind of cool. So if you're a Sherlock Holmes fan, uh, we have another uh, nice hardcover for a Walt Disney, uh, the Mickey Mouse thing. They do those a while. Those are nice. Uh, for DC, Green Lantern, the Kyle Rayner era is getting a new book back in print. So if you like Kyle Rayner, you're going to get the Zero Issue 48, which is his first appearance through 65, and a bunch of tie-ins in Damage, Dark Stars, Kai Gardner Warrior, New Titans, and Rebels. So yes, a whole chunk of early Kyle Rayner as Green Lantern. Uh, Riddler Year One gets reprinted as a hardcover. Uh, the Batman Harley and Ivy miniseries gets reprinted in softcover now. It was available in hardcover. Poison Ivy gets a new hardcover. What volume is this? This is volume... Uh, volume 2. So this is 7 through 12 of the Poison Ivy series. And we have a new YA graphic novel called The Arkham Maniacs. So that's fun for the kids. Uh, just because it's on the table. Whoop, and I just dropped off the table. Okay, I'm going to go around here. Do, 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 do. All right, give me a break. I'm nursing a cold, okay? All right. <laughs> All right, yes. To celebrate Invincible, we got a new Invincible action figure. All right, so we got that. All right. 
I'm gonna come back around. Apologies. All right, new Elf Quest hardcover for the Stargazers Hunt miniseries. Uh, Grendel has been uh, reproducing their old stuff in what they call Master's Edition hardcover. So this is another new one. Devil by the Deed gets reprinted in a nice hardcover. Uh, Mandalorian Season 2 Part 1. So this is probably the first four issues of the latest season. The Danny Ketch Ghost Rider miniseries gets reprinted. Uh, Daredevil and Echoes miniseries. And Volume 2 of the latest Deadpool series. So that's going to be 6 through 10, which I think is all the way to current, because I think that was all of them. Uh, we got a manga this week, Origin. I have no idea, but it's Volume 1 if you want to try it. Uh, Minecraft gets a new graphic novel. Oh, actually, this is an omnibus, sorry. So it's not new. It's reprinting some stuff. It's already been out. It's collecting all three volumes of the very first graphic novel. Okay, so it's just a way to get all three in one. There you go. Uh, also, celebrating a 10th anniversary is the graphic novel The Fifth Beetle. So this is a new printing of that. And then wrapping up our graphic novels is a Hulk omnibus, which I'm sure has been out before. It's volume two. I gotta believe it's been out before, but if it hasn't, you get Incredible Hulk 103 through 134 in annual number one. So if you're looking for those old Hulk issues, probably at an affordable price, there is a great option for you. Also, it is the end of the month, so we have a new Marvel previews for December. So they're looking at Ultimate Black Panther. And Spider-Punk is going to be coming back in a couple months. So awesome there. No DC yet. That'll be next week. We do have the new preview. So it looks like Thundercats is a go. Who owns that? That is going to be Dynamite. All right. So Dynamite gets Thundercats license. Interesting. Could have sworn that would be Skybound. But there you go. So Dynamite's getting Thundercats. And we have a new, another new uh, PVC diorama. They're doing these uh, Mar or Diamond Gallery dioramas. They're nice. They're going to do four total. They're all going to connect eventually. So there's a new one there. So the new previews is out and the new Marvel previews is out, but DC will be next week. All right, so there you go. I forgot at the beginning of this that downtowncomics.com is the place to go to look at all the new graphic novels that are coming out, especially ones that are not on this table. And like, sharing, and subscribing is always appreciated. I hope everyone has a great holiday. Thanks for listening to my bad voice, and hopefully I will be better next week. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.